men. If I had my way, they'd all disappear in a puff of smoke and the world would be a happier place. What are you staring at? I know you. You're him, aren't you? Isabella's brother. She's a friend of mine. Not all that close, obviously. Her nasty husband did this to me. Clever. Thornton. <laughs> Is he here? <laughs> She's terrified of it. Well, she shouldn't have run off and left him then, should she? You always were a bit pleased with yourself. I saw you once. The man in black on his black horse. The big I am. Look at you now. Dirty and miserable and small. And now you're going to be executed. And by the look of it, you might not be far behind. I hope you go to hell. I'm already there. Just leave it, will you? Well, it hurts. That's why they do it. Deal with it. I'm thirsty. Well, then save your breath and stop whining. Nasty piece of work, you, aren't you? No wonder Isabella wants you dead. What did you do to her anyway? Oh, give me strength. It's almost worth dying to be spared your endless chatter. Oh, come on. You're here, I'm here. What else are we going to do? I found her a husband. That's what I did. Good price, too. You sold her? Your own sister? It's her best chance in life. It's not my fault she went and made a mess well, of it. Well, of course it is. All of it. You sold her to a monster. You stupid girl. You know nothing about it. I'm not stupid girl. I'm Meg. I'm still thirsty. That stone around your neck. Suck it. It'll make your mouth water. Are you scared? What of? <laughs> what of? Your date with the execution. Do I look scared? Actually, no. Terrible, yeah. One out of ten for personal appearance. I'm not frightened. I'm almost impressed. It's as if you've got a clear conscience. Well, why shouldn't I have? Because of all the awful things you've done in your life. I mean, no one actually seems sorry that you're on the way out, do they? Does that not make you sad? Can't help what people think of me. What's done is done. And if I am to die, then so be it. Is your life really that empty that you don't care whether you live or die? good in you yet? You don't know me. Besides, I thought you hated men. I do. I do. Release her. Isabella, you're back. Thank goodness. I'm not so sure my brother will feel the same. Come on, let's go. Won't you release Guy too? What? Are you mad? He's our enemy. But oh, you see, do you see how they manipulate us? A few hours in a cell with a cold-hearted killer, and even you lose your wits. That's the poison of men, Meg. 
None of them can be trusted. My brother will get exactly what he deserves. Now, come on. Meg? What are you doing? I can't let her kill you. I just can't. Do this for me. This is touching. She didn't know what she was doing! Yes, she did. How could you? I set you free and this is how you repay me. We're not the same. I tried to do things out of love. You're doing this out of hate. How dare you! I suppose I should be grateful. Now I know the only person I can trust is myself. I'm on my own. You put yourself there, Isabella. I could say the same for you. And if you two lovebirds want to be together, that's fine. You shall. You'll both die. From bitter experience, Guy of Gisborne is an enemy of the people. He must pay the ultimate penalty. This woman tried to help him escape justice. Therefore, she must share his fate. In future, if anyone challenges my authority, they shall suffer the same punishment. Have the condemned any final words? Very well, Isabella, you win. Kill me if you must, but not her. I'll do whatever you want. But don't take her life. Proceed with the execution! She's just an innocent girl! <laughs> what do we do? I said, proceed! For once, I agree with Gisborne. Thank <laughs> you. 